Jen, it's Marie. It's uh, coming on the end of November. Um, it's the evening, as you can see from my window. Um, and I just wanted to not let this day end without um, uh, sending you a message. So um, in November, we've really done a series of challenges um, that are about trying to um, get you to see that you matter and that you need to be at the center of your life. Um, and matter and get time and needs met. Um, so we did a, you know, um, wanting you to recognize what your talents were and what your strengths were was one of our challenges. To be seen and do a selfie was another one of our challenges. Um, another challenge was to be grateful for the things that we have in our life. And the last one was really to accept help in our life and uh, receive, as they say. I think I look like I'm dressed like a nun tonight. Um, I, a <laughs> uh, little sidebar there, um, I did this um, to start to make many shifts in your life to show you there's little things you can do that just stop the pattern interrupt, um, stop the cycle of how you've been living your life. Um, because if you're a crazy busy woman, you're really good at, at you know, um, taking care of everybody, actually worrying about everybody else, anticipating what everybody else needs. Um, making it happen um, for everybody and um, you're a good juggler you juggle a ton of balls and they never fall down but you even forget sometimes to throw up ones for yourself or you let those fall to the ground or maybe you even set them aside because when you have time and when everything's done then you'll be able to throw some balls up in the air for yourself well that time never happens and we the sad part about it is, while we would never drop a ball for a family, uh, a child, um, a partner, a colleague, uh, a boss, um, anyone, really, a stranger on the street, really, <laughs> uh, we would never disappoint them or drop a ball, but we disappoint ourselves in little ways every day. Uh, the little promises that we make, whether it would be missing a dinner with a friend and rescheduling for the 10th time, um, because... I have to do this work tonight. I really should be home. Um, I'm feeling guilty about X, Y, and Z. Uh, <clears throat> and, you know, I can just reschedule. Um, and we don't even feel guilty about it. Uh, we feel guilty about the person we schedule to, but not for ourselves, for breaking that promise that we take time for ourselves this week or recharge our battery in some way um, because we've gotten used to it. Um, we've gotten really used to it. We're world-class jugglers. Um, and it's not okay. And we don't even realize the cost of never getting our needs met, never mattering in our own life um, until everything else is taken care of. The costs um, manifest themselves in really powerful um, ways that we need to link to our life being out of order, out of balance, um, which is, you know, anything from uh, migraines, which is how mine manifests themselves, back pain, weight gain, weight loss. Um, isolation, depression, uh, overwhelm, anxiety, um, coexisting in a relationship, uh, you know, turning down things that you really want to do and, and, and because you're just too exhausted and it sounds like a task. Um, these things have real impacts in our life. And, you know, we only have one life to live. And so the whole point of November was to try to set some pattern interrupts, um, stopping some cycles, um, just getting you to recognize that you need to matter. When I talk about balance, um, what I really mean is who's in control of your life? Is it your responsibilities? Is it um, worry and guilt over disappointing people? Is it trying to keep up with the Joneses? Is it um, just trying to be everything to everyone? Or are you in control of your life? Are you making choices and decisions based on your values, based on your needs? Um, or are you just lost in the responsibilities and burdens of your life and convinced yourself that this is just the way it has to be for now and that someday, someday it'll change. Someday it will. But right now I have to do this. Um, and it costs you a lot. And you look around and you see those people that are successful and have it going on and it doesn't seem to cost them anything, and that's because they figured it out. They figured out how to still achieve and still be a good mom or a good colleague or a good husband, 
husband, a good wife, um, a good mother, a good friend, um, but also be good to themselves. And um, that's the trick. And it starts with you being worth getting your own needs met. And it starts with recognizing those needs. And so what I want us all to do is recognize that we matter. And if we wake up every morning and make an intention that we matter and we're going to put ourselves at the center of our lives, we're going to start changing the way that we interact in the world and the way our energy manifests itself in the world. And that's what I want for all of you. I really do. I want that for each and every one of you because I know what it meant for my life. Um, and it's time to start now. Um, it's almost the end of the year. Um, we're knee deep in the holiday season. It's only going to get crazier. And I bet some of you are like, you know what? This sounds good. You know, I like some of the things she said. I joined the group, but I'm not really going to do anything until January, January, new year, fresh start. I'm going to do it. But the reality is we can do it now in little ways. I've given you, you know, seven different ideas through all these mini challenges of little ways you can take a stake in the ground for you because the you you always wanted to be or that you you lost along the way when life's responsibilities took over and the burdens and pressure of your life took over that girl is still in there and she deserves to come out and play she deserves to come out and be fully realized and expressed and guess what when she does come out she's fabulous because she's older and wiser and and she can figure out, if you let her, how to still be successful and do all the things you do in your life, but in a different way that's based on your values and your legacy and, it, and is based on getting your needs met too because you matter and you, can, and you can put yourself at the center of your life and be take back control, really, just take back control. You matter and the you inside you is still there and she deserves to come out and play and dance and laugh and have that joy that you thought you lost forever, that that freedom and sense of joy that doesn't come often um, should be out more often. Life is short. This is our time and we've got to peel back the layers and get back to that girl we were, okay? So we're going to continue to work on that, but I just wanted to send you that message tonight and I wanted to thank everybody for participating. Those of you who participated in the November challenges, everyone, please just post if you have questions, if you want tips, if you're having a tough day. Like, let's be there for each other, okay? Um, I can help. I really can. Uh, we've talked about before, and I'm going to do a QA and a call um, this month, um, the programs that I have to help women. I have an eight-week program that literally will change your life in eight weeks. Um, and now's the time. So private message me if you want to know more. I'll be talking about it this month, too. But mostly tonight, I just wanted to tell you that you matter, Okay. Let's put a stake in the ground for you. Let's make an intention every day that you matter and you deserve to get your needs met. You deserve to be joyful. You don't have to be tired and exhausted and burdened all the time. There is a way out and we can do it, okay? Love you all. Have a good night and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.